This discovery, in my opinion, is the most important discovery on the 21st century. Egypt, an enigma veiled by the sands of time, continues to capture our imagination even today. Renowned across antiquity for its remarkable mysteries and unparalleled feats of structural engineering, Egypt remains a treasure trove of undeciphered secrets. Isn't it intriguing how the essence of an ancient Egypt, in all its glory, is yet largely unknown to us? Even though periodic discoveries hint at the extraordinary capabilities of this ancient civilization, a majority of Egypt's past remains buried under its vast sands. Egypt's spectacular accomplishment, so mind-boggling in their intricacy and scale, have led many to ask a question that smears the border of reality and science fiction. Could the ancient Egyptians have been in contact with alien beings, who passed on their advanced knowledge to humans? Using new technology, such as soft-bodied robots that are capable of tunneling through sand and navigating in tight spaces, Explorers have made some terrifying discoveries in the sands of Egypt. What exactly were these mind-blowing discoveries and how do they reshape our understanding of ancient Egypt and its people? We'll find out in the new episode of Secret Origins. Welcome. From the world's first ever pregnant mummy to hidden chambers in the Great Pyramid, these recent discoveries have only served to fuel speculations and fascinate us further. But what do these discoveries really signify? What secrets do they hold about the mysterious land of Egypt? In 2011, a strange archaeological discovery was made in the ancient Egyptian city of Avaris. Near a royal compound, archaeologists found four pits containing a total of 16 dismembered, larger-than-average, right human hands estimated to be about 3,600 years old. The peculiar find was near King Hyan's palace, a ruler of the Hykos, a West Asian group that once held power in northern Egypt. This led to the hypothesis that these hands might be the earliest physical evidence of an ancient practice where soldiers would sever the right hand of their foes after victory, trade them for gold, and then dispose of them in designated pits. The remarkable archaeological site of Saqqara forms part of an ancient necropolis associated with the Egyptian city of Memphis, the first capital of the unified Upper and Lower Egypt. This historical site thrived until approximately the 7th century CE and hosts numerous elaborate royal tombs. A few years ago, Archaeologists excavating this site unearthed an incredible array of ancient relics that had lain hidden in the desert sands for over 2,500 years. Among these treasures were dozens of sacrificed sacred animals, 250 intricately painted wooden coffins, and numerous stunning statues. However, the most fascinating discovery was a mysterious papyrus scroll tucked away inside one of the sarcophagi. This scroll, now known as the Waziri Scroll, was initially estimated to be less than 30 feet long. However, after meticulous restoration, it was revealed to be an astonishing 52 feet in length. Upon further investigation and translation, it became apparent that the remarkable papyrus bore inscriptions from the legendary and mysterious Book of the Dead. This ancient book comprises hundreds of spells, hymns, and funerary incantations believed to assist the souls of the deceased in navigating the perilous journey to the afterlife, eventually uniting them with the gods. But the sands of Saqqara hold more secrets than we can imagine. Situated within the famed Saqqara complex on the Giza Plateau is a peculiar ancient structure known as the Headless Pyramid. Despite the region being extensively explored for over two centuries, many Egyptologists believe that only about a third of its ancient underground treasures have been unearthed. First discovered in 1842 by a German archaeologist, this obscure headless pyramid was quickly reclaimed by the ever-shifting desert sands and remained lost for over 160 years until its rediscovery. Today, only the base of this vast shrine survives. The site is strewn with the uniquely disfigured remains of numerous colossal structures, which adds to its intrigue. 
Further adding to the site's mystique is a peculiar dark gray stone box partially buried in the sand. The box's enormous rock lid remains curiously intact and seems to have been fitted in such a way that it's not just placed on top, but has perfectly slidden to the top of the box itself. A mysterious perfect drill hole visible on one side of the box remains unexplained. Inside a nearby pyramid, another box of very similar design exists, made entirely from another exotic volcanic rock known as Dacite. Some observers claim that the stunning and impressive ancient stonework found in this now ruined site gives off the impression of having been crafted by a fabled, lost technology that we still don't understand. But what happens if we look at the most astonishing Egyptian monument, the Great Pyramid? The Great Pyramid of Giza, standing as the lone survival of the seven wonders of the ancient world, is a stunning testament to the architectural brilliance of the ancients. Rising to an impressive height, it punctuates the skyline as a majestic monument that has captivated humanity for millennia. Despite countless years of exploration and study, the Great Pyramid continues to guard its secrets closely. The techniques employed in its construction, the intentions of its architects, and the purpose of its enigmatic interior chambers these riddles persist, their answers lying hidden within the heart of this colossal edifice. So, what's inside the Great Pyramid? So far we have known that the Great Pyramid of Giza houses three primary chambers. The King's Chamber, located in the pyramid's heart, made from red granite and featuring a large granite coffer. The Queen's Chamber, beneath and east of the King's Chamber, with two mysterious shafts and the subterranean chamber, a seemingly unfinished space cut into the bedrock with a pit and a dead-end tunnel. These chambers are linked by corridors and passages, including the Grand Gallery and the Well Shaft, which collectively exhibit the pyramid's intricate engineering and design. The King's Chamber, in addition to the mysterious empty granite coffer, is also known for its complex system of five relieving chambers above it. They were constructed to distribute the weight of the pyramid above the king's chamber, reducing the risk of the chamber's ceiling collapsing from the massive weight above. The chambers are stacked one on top of another, and they're relatively narrow. They're filled with blocks of granite and limestone, and except for the highest chamber, their ceilings are flat. The relieving chambers are known by the names given to them by the British engineer Wayman Dixon and Dr. James Grant who explored these spaces in 1837. The bottommost chamber immediately above the King's Chamber is called the Relieving Chamber. The next one is named Davison's Chamber after Nathaniel Davison. Following is the Wellington's Chamber, then Nelson's Chamber, and the topmost chamber is known as Lady Arbuthnot's Chamber. Recent discoveries, however, have shown that above the Great Gallery, the corridor that leads to the King's Chamber there is a hollow space now known as the Big Void. This discovery is significant because this is the first major structure found within the Great Pyramid since the 19th century. Its exact size, shape, orientation, and position within the pyramid structure are not yet fully known, and its purpose remains a mystery. It is speculated that this empty space is at least 30 meters, around 98 feet long. So how was it discovered, since there is no passage leading to it? The big void in the Great Pyramid of Giza was discovered by a team of scientists as part of the Scan Pyramids Project, which is a collaborative effort from researchers of various institutions to use innovative, non-invasive technology, like infrared thermography, photogrammetry, laser scanning, and muon radiography to study the pyramids. Picture this. A cosmic downpour of subatomic particles, invisible to the naked eye, constantly cascading onto the Earth. These cosmic travelers are called muons, heavyset cousins of electrons, and they hold the extraordinary capability of unmasking the unseen. The use of muon radiography, which leverages the cosmic particles that continually rain down on Earth, was key to discovering the big void. 
When these particles pass through empty spaces, they lose less energy than when they pass through solid rock. But placing detectors within and around the pyramid, scientists were able to collect data on the patterns of muons passing through the structure over several months. The Egyptian Supreme Council of Antiquities, which announced the discovery, has suggested that this new corridor could be one of the most significant Egyptological finds of the 21st century. However, we're still in the early stages of understanding what this discovery means and what secrets might lie within this mysterious corridor. Currently, what is inside this big void remains a mystery. Could it potentially reveal more about the design and purpose of the Great Pyramid and shed new light on the life and beliefs of the ancient civilization that built the pyramid? Exploration of the Big Void is a challenging prospect because any invasive procedure risks damaging the monument, which is both a valuable archaeological site and a symbol of Egypt's cultural heritage. Researchers are hoping to use further non-invasive technologies to learn more about this fascinating discovery, but as of my last update, no exploration or direct investigation of the void had taken place. The accuracy of the scan pyramids, muography, and modeling empty spaces within pyramids is now proven, affirming the existence of the big void situated above the Grand Gallery. However, accessing this void is a significant challenge requiring potential drilling unless an undiscovered entry point exists at its base. In 2019, the latest scan pyramids data refined the big void's position, placing it between 10 and 15 meters directly above the Grand Gallery. If an approach towards it is to be made via drilling, Lady Arbuthnot's chamber, the second highest space above the King's chamber, appears to be the most promising location. Potentially, the big void could be accessed by drilling about 7 meters horizontally into the north wall of this chamber, with the entry point ideally located close to the big void's southern wall floor. The reason behind selecting Lady Arbuthnot's chamber over the larger and higher Campbell's chamber is to avoid damaging the protective chevrons overlaying over the spaces below, including the King's chamber. So drilling from Lady Arbuthnot's chamber allows a narrower error margin regarding the drilling elevation, with the possibility of slightly longer drilling if the big void slopes downward. This approach is perfect for deploying endoscopes or robots for further examination. But the problem is that it is unlikely that the Ministry of Antiquities and Tourism will allow drilling toward the big void in the near future. So perhaps this pause provides an opportunity to revisit and reassess the last invasive drilling in the Great Pyramid, carried out in September of 1986. This last invasive exploration of the Great Pyramid was conducted in the western wall of the corridor leading to the Queen's Chamber. Led by researchers Gilles Dormion and Jean-Patrice Godin, this 1986 exploration resulted in a book titled The New Mysteries of the Great Pyramid. Unfortunately, as it was published in French more than 35 years ago, Many of its insights have been overlooked. What remains in collective memory is that the three drilling cores revealed nothing of interest, except for the last one, which reached a pocket of sand. And here's the interesting thing. This sand, a large-grained, pure quartz type not indigenous to the Giza Plateau, extended at least 40 centimeters into a depth of 2.65 meters. Dormion and Godin had hypothesized that they would uncover sealed storerooms within the masonry. However, the famous Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, who assumed the position of Director General of the Giza Monuments in 1987, denied Dormion any further permission to the probe of the Great Pyramid. Still, their discovery of the sand pocket was not meaningless. Though a dead end in 1986, with advancements in robotics in recent years, it presents a fascinating opportunity for further exploration. The Hawks Lab Department of Mechanical Engineering at UC Santa Barbara has made remarkable progress in developing soft-bodied robots capable of tunneling through sand and navigating tight spaces. These robots, powered by compressed air, are designed to emulate the biomechanics of living organisms, thus minimizing resistance against sand. The innovation in this approach is truly remarkable. These ingenious machines grow from the front, completely eliminating friction with the environment. 
They also deploy a unique method of air fluidization, turning the gritty sand into a near-liquid state, reducing resistance and making their journey smoother. The robot's maneuverability relies on a blend of pull tendons and multiple air streams, which enables it to navigate vertically and horizontally. A small wireless camera mounted on the robot's tip and supported by the internal pressurized frame of the robot's body can provide a live feed. So, if paired with a light source, this would allow for comprehensive exploration of a sand-filled cavity within the Great Pyramid. This technology has already demonstrated its worth in archaeology. It was effectively employed to examine small underground shafts in an ancient temple nestled in the Peruvian mountains. But where should this robot be used in the Great Pyramid? While utilizing it in the North Face Corridor seems like an obvious choice, the Horizontal Corridor may be a more feasible starting point since it does not require any alteration to the pyramid structure. The Ministry of Antiquities' satisfaction with the unobtrusive exploration of the North Face Corridor presents an opportunity to replicate that success. Regardless of what the sand-filled cavity might reveal, this would be an extraordinary tale for Egypt, rekindling the world's interest in the enduring mysteries of the Great Pyramid. The potential to unearth monumental discoveries about the Great Pyramid is growing with each new piece of information. So, we believe it's high time for Egypt to acknowledge the potential of the Big Void. It's a crucial piece of the puzzle that holds secrets to the construction of one of humanity's greatest ancient wonders. What if there are secret books or information that reveals how the pyramid was built? But the mind-blowing discoveries do not end here. Throughout history, Egypt has held a prominent place as a formidable power. Renowned for the creation of some of the most awe-inspiring and grandiose structures in the ancient world, the land is replete with intriguing artifacts and findings that baffle and fascinate us. Yet, a recent discovery in Egypt seems to redefine our understanding of this ancient civilization in an utterly astounding manner. Upon entering the depths of the Great Pyramid of Giza, a team of scientists stumbled upon an astounding discovery an enormous chamber housing what appeared to be advanced machinery and technology, the likes of which seemed to belong to the realm of science fiction. This finding not only astonished the explorers, but it also challenged the very basis of our historical understanding. Were these relics proof of the existence of a highly advanced civilization? They found a vast chamber never seen before, housing advanced machinery and technology that defies logical explanation. This chamber was adorned with ancient hieroglyphics, initially perceived as random inscriptions, but later understood to be instructions for operating this seemingly science fiction technology. The complexity and advancement of the machinery were so extraordinary, they could rival our modern understanding of technology, raising questions about this ancient civilization's capability. Were these relics of an ancient unknown civilization that was helped by advanced aliens just like the Atlanteans? This mind-bending discovery has introduced an entirely new layer of intrigue to the already captivating tale of ancient Egypt, provoking further exploration and research into the concealed depths of this majestic civilization. Who were these people? What other secrets lie buried beneath the sands? And most importantly, what can we learn from this testament to ancient ingenuity? And what if this chamber leads to the legendary halls of Amenti, described by Toth in the Emerald Tablets? We can only hope that one day we'll find out. But what is even more astonishing is that many Egyptologists claim that the most sites in ancient Egypt have not yet been discovered. In fact, only less than 1% have been excavated. What about the rest 99%? We bow before you and thank you for watching another episode of Secret Origins. Keep your minds open, and until we meet again.